Hi, welcome to DevOps Dialogue by Dell. My name is Florian. I'm a product technologist at Dell Technologies and contributor to the Kubernetes 6 storage. Today, I want to discuss a topic that's named COSI. COSI is the acronym for Container Object Storage Interface. This is an effort to standardize the way we consume object storage within the Kubernetes. Dell is on the edge of this adoption and has COSI driver available today. The idea here is we are building on the momentum and the revolution kind of that has been created by the CSI, Container Storage Interface. So the CSI, as you probably know, helps you to manage your storage from Kubernetes and mount volume to your pod. We want to do the same for object storage streamline the life cycle of your object storage within Kubernetes. So it ensures seamless integration depending on your different clouds and the way you consume object storage. So object storage is immensely popular for its scalability, its cost effectiveness, its simplicity as well. It's massively used for machine learning use cases, archiving, and obviously CDN. So the COSI spec introduced a bunch of new custom resources. But if you're familiar with the CSI spec as it is today, uh, the semantic will look a lot like the CSI. So these CRD are among multiples. And when you need to provision object storage, you're going to use something like bucket claim. Within that bucket claim, you will reference a bucket class, which is how you're gonna serve your object storage. And just like you do today with CSI, hey, I want uh, a bucket of uh, having this particular setting, that region, uh, that class of uh, replication, for example. Just like with a bucket class, the bucket claim will ship that information to the COSI driver. And if the COSI driver can supply it, it will create a bucket object. Now, you don't access your object storage just like mounting a volume. The second thing you have to do, which is slightly different from your regular volume, is to create another object that's named bucket access that will reference a bucket access class. That bucket access is literally I want the access detail to be able to connect to my object store and consume it. So here again, the COSI driver will do its job if it can supply it. The result will be a, a new secret. And when I say new secret, I mean a Kubernetes secret, obviously. That gonna contains all the details and permission to be able to go to the endpoint, log into the endpoint with a login and a password. Last step, your pod, your application, need to mount that volume. And then for the application owner, the application developer, the, the integration is just like convert that uh, static file or this environment variable into a configuration that will then connect to the bucket itself. Another nice aspect of the specification is that you can create new buckets or you can do brownfield deployment by mounting existing bucket. So you don't have to like re-implement the entire stack. Uh, you can just nicely move from an existing application, containerize it, and connect it to your object storage. Thanks for watching us. You can join this conversation through the Slack channel on SIG Storage Cozy, or contact your Dell representative for more detail on this. Talk to you later.